Hello and welcome back to a new video of mine. <laughs> this is a New Year's reset and I know that probably when this video comes up it's already like the 20th or something of January. I am filming this on the 11th right now, so tonight is actually a new moon, which I feel like is a good energy to reset. I definitely need it. Also, there has been quite a lot of things going on recently and I haven't even taken the time to talk to you guys about it. So I just want to be transparent in this vlog and gonna take you a bit with me. So first of all, what I have to do today, which I am really not excited about is cleaning up the entire apartment that I'm in right now. The apartment is a complete mess because not gonna lie, my life has been a mess recently and for me it was a bit difficult to keep a clean space. You know, I think we've all been there at one point in our lives that sometimes it's just hard to keep yourself organized and keep your apartment organized and I feel like it's definitely time to uh, clean this one up. Some of you that have been following me for a longer time already have already seen this apartment and have seen my reset videos. However, there are a lot of new people right now on this channel. So first of all, hi, so happy to have you here. Second of all, then you might know me from when I was still in my dorm room. Might be confusing to you right now because I was back then in the US. Now I'm in the Netherlands, but... <laughs> Why is it so confusing? Well, I'm studying in the Netherlands, but also I'm gonna move to Germany now. So I'm gonna stay here for three more weeks, but this is the last few videos that you're gonna get in this apartment forever because I'm gonna move out. Hence why I also need to desperately clean because there might be some people coming over to view this apartment. So it is definitely on top of my priority list right now. And also I'm going to Germany tomorrow for a weekend because my family is German, I am German. Why is that so confusing? I'm sorry. So, okay, I'm going to Germany to Tomorrow. So that means I only have one entire day to clean up the apartment and because it's new moon I also completely want to organize this year mentally and I bought a binder I can show you I bought a binder and I want to create a life binder. I saw Fernanda Ramirez, I think, do it. And I was really intrigued by it. I really want to do that too, because I felt like that was a great idea, but I think it's gonna take a lot of time. These are my two big plans today. I also need to tackle some emails, but that has nothing to do with you guys. And in the meantime, I'm also filming a reading vlog. So yeah, let's see how far I get. I also want to take some self-care time because I feel like I've been a bit lost recently. I plan on still pre-filming videos from this apartment, but I cannot guarantee how many and I cannot guarantee how many videos are gonna come in February. Just wanted to give you a heads up for some transparency. For some transparency. Took a while. Thank you so much for listening to this five minute talk. And now I would say we get right into this video without further ado. I really need to fix a lot of things here and I don't know if I can actually show you how it's Okay, I can show you how it's looking like right now. It's not that bad, so it's pretty bad, but okay. Here we have moving box number uno. Then there's the couch. There's the, all the books that I was filming for, for the reading vlog, but that's okay. I need to organize my makeup table. The kitchen is a complete mess. Let's not talk about that. Fun times, definitely. So I'm gonna drink my coffee and then I'm gonna get to work. Let's go. And while I'm cleaning, I'm listening to this podcast. But this is very interesting. I'm currently on minute 48 and it's over three hours. So I still have two hours and a little bit more than that to go, which is awesome for cleaning, not gonna lie. Open air, side by side we sway there in all the colors. Oh, and by the way, I got a new piercing jewelry over here for my rook. Can you see it? Thanks for noticing. I actually quite like it. I feel like it looks very cute. So, yeah. Important talk. <laughs> Tell 
I am equipped with my laptop and my iPad. By the way, I did that this year. I put like, last year, I put like stickers on it. I think it's so cute, I love it. And I have the video playing in the background with how to create a life binder. And I'm also equipped with these things, these dividers and my binder. Finally finished cleaning up everything. So it's 5 p.m. right now, which is a decent time, I think, to start this. It's gonna take me a long time, but I'm gonna have a self-care night. Oh my God. Just sitting down and doing this, finally, is giving me such a peace of mind. I'm excited now. I already started to download a few things on Pinterest, but not too many. So I need to go through my Pinterest board a little bit more. And I have my iPad here in case I want to do any designs or something. And I think I'm mostly gonna use Canva, Pinterest, and maybe a little bit of Notion. I did not think that this would be so meaningful to me right now, but it is. So I'm looking up currently vision board templates on Canva, but I don't love them so far. Let me show you. This is the one she also has in her video, right over there, you can see. And then I found this one, which I also really like. So I'm thinking of using this one otherwise. Firstly, I also need to know in what I want to divide my goals. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit again, because that's way too close. Okay. Firstly, I need to think about in which way I want to divide my goals as well. So that's very important for me right now. I don't really know the headers that I want to have. I'm also thinking about making myself a tea right now. My brain is still everywhere. I think you notice I'm like such a mess still. But okay, um, let me show you my Pinterest actually, I think. Vision board 2024, yes. Here's a morning ritual, plan, 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 action that I film more, that I'm more focused and get more stuff done. I want to get back into podcasting too and I want to spend more time with friends and I want to go to the gym more. That's the overall aesthetic and now we get into it. <laughs> wow, okay, glad we had that talk. <laughs> That's sure something I could use Cure for the air condition Okay, so it's going very very good so far. I did start with typing everything in, into Notion. I realized that I need like an overarching theme for this year and I heard this quote by a German content creator recently and she said from now on everything that I want to post so I'm just translating it right now but everything that she wants to post is supposed to carry the the signature of her heart I kind of want to adapt that because it really touched me something inside of me got touched deep down by this <laughs> everything that I do from now on is supposed to be signed by my heart it reminds me of like a saying that my grandma always says she's always saying to me listen to your heart, follow your heart, do what your heart wants you to do. And that really stuck with me. I feel like it is really matching for me to carry that throughout this year, but also as a life motto, sort of. And I do feel like I need to connect more with my heart again, and I need to stop always being so in my head and like rushing through everything. I really want to slow down and really listen to what I need, instead of always thinking only about like 
outside circumstances. I want to embrace that energy this year, so all my goals are gonna be redirected from that of like what my heart really wants me to do. And it's kind of scary, but it also feels good. Everything that's gonna come up on this channel, everything that I'm gonna do from now on is really what I love to do without feeling pressure or something. Really just from joy. I think that's giving me a lot of positive energy that I needed today and maybe you need to hear that too. I'm gonna continue planning now and then I go into the vision boarding. It's almost 10 p.m. and I just finished all the slides. I was thinking about still writing some affirmations or something, but I didn't do that yet. I can show you in a bit like what the general layout is now. I basically adopted it from the video because it made a lot of sense the way she did it. And yeah, I'm gonna try to print that and then I'm gonna put everything in my binder. I didn't make a vision board yet, but I'm actually getting very tired. I've been sitting here for four hours and it took me a long time to figure everything out, but I'm very happy with everything for now. I'm not gonna show you everything though, because I feel like these are my goals. I don't want to share them with the world yet. I can share it when it happened, right? But I am gonna show you an example page. So hold up, wait a second. So here we, for example, have the mindset page. Underneath that, I always have a quote. So for me, this is, I am grateful for today. No, an affirmation, sorry, not a quote. And then I just took a lot of things and pictures from Pinterest that inspired me about that topic. The ink is empty. I feel like I jinxed it because I said I'm gonna try to print it. Good thing I'm going to my parents tomorrow, so I'm gonna print everything tomorrow. I'm not gonna finish the vlog tonight then. Can I stop now? There we go again. <gasps> Help. So I'm gonna update you. Okay, now I can talk. Oh wow, that took a long time. I'm gonna print it at my parents' place tomorrow. It means this vlog is gonna take a bit longer than I thought, but that's fine. And maybe you're gonna see my finished vision board as well then. I'm gonna keep you posted. I'm currently at my parents' place and their printer did work. So here we go. I have all the pages here. Almost all of them. I think I forgot to print one. I have my dividers. I'm gonna start by stamping holes in these and then I'm gonna put them in here in order and then I'm gonna divide them. So that's the plan for now. I think they actually turn out really well. Like I love the look of them. I have one page with goals. Personal, mental, health, career. So this is something I found on Canvas. Canvas. Canva. My gosh. Then I have an affirmations page. I was actually a bit lazy and I didn't write any out myself yet, but I'm still considering to do that. But these were just some inspiring quotes that I found. For example, may I release all energies that are less than love, help free my body, mind and soul of all that no longer serves my higher purpose. I send back any energies that aren't mine with love. I anchor into myself and the present moment. I am free, I am love. I felt like this was cute. Another thing that I wanted to make a bigger page was a morning routine for my higher self. I do want to create a routine that's a bit more calming and I want to ground myself more again. I feel like recently I've been really just like overthinking everything. These are just things that are supposed to remind me of that. I made pages that are sort of like this, so like physical self. I made one with materialistic things because I don't have a lot of things that I want to get this year. I feel like I'm very happy with everything, how it's going so far, but I was like, why not? Like, just some smaller things, like a Kindle e-reader. Then I have a thing that's called goals. I have one that's called love. Mindset with my work life. That's basically it. And I found a letter to myself on Pinterest and I put it on a bigger page and I made it what the letter to myself says. It really touched me. I don't know. It really did something to me. So I was like, I need to put it in this binder. It says, dear me. Love yourself a little bit more than yesterday. Make yourself a priority. Chase your goals. Be grateful for the things you have. Be proud of yourself. You are a sparkling star. You are your own rainbow. Celebrate yourself as always. XO, XO, XO. This was a very cute reminder and I don't think it can hurt to read this a bit more often. As I said, I'm gonna divide these now and then I'm gonna figure out if I want to do something else with it. I also made a vision board, like a complete one. But I forgot to print that and maybe I'm gonna put it on the outside 
on the first page. So I'm almost done. I was thinking maybe for physical I can always update this with like for example a workout plan or something. Or like monthly goals. I was also thinking about doing that. There is a lot of room for improvement still. But I'm gonna write the side of these ones. And I'm gonna print out my vision board. But so far it's going very well. It's fun. I can definitely recommend you do this. Just because it's like going more into the nitty gritty details of everything. And not just making an overarching vision board, but really thinking about every area of your life. That's kind of cool. I like that. Wow, the lighting is so bad. I didn't update you on my life binder anymore because I did add a few pages. I'm not gonna show you my entire vision board, but basically that's what it looks like right now. Did tape the vision board on top of the binder with washi tape and I think that it just looks very cool. The washi tape that I chose is also like glittery and stuff so I love that. I'm obsessed with it. I already briefly showed you. This is how I divided it. So what I divided it into was goals, mindset, love, work life, physical and materialistic and I mean I already talked you through all those but I did add a page with books to read non-fiction as you can see here so I just it's not the most aesthetic but like I was just having fun it was really like a creative outlet for me in that moment and books to read fiction so that I can just cross them off. I feel like there's a lot more on my TBR. If you want a designated video about my yearly TBR, like fiction or non-fiction, just let me know in the comments down below, then I can make that video for you guys. I just don't know if right now you're still interested in that. So yeah, as I said, let me know and I will make that video. And then in Mindset, I also created a different page, which is like this. And it's only full of affirmations that I found on the internet. That was fun too. And then lastly, there was one more page, I think. And I also, when it came to physical self, my goal was to cook a bit more this year. To also like work out a little bit more again. But with that, I feel like nutrition is also very important. So what I actually did was I did print out a few recipes that I wanted to try. One of my goals this year was to start cooking for myself at least one new recipe every week. Since moving out a few years ago, I was starting to make the same recipes over and over and over again. And it's great like to have things that you like and that you know that work for you. But I feel like I really want to expand when it comes to cooking and I do feel like I can amp up my skills in that regard a little bit so that's why I print out a few recipes. It's so nice to have them in this binder actually. So I have one for a salmon rice bowl, then I have one for a low carb Thai chicken lettuce wrap, sounds really good too. And um, the other one was I think for baked oats. So if you want to follow me on that journey, also let me know because I can vlog that for you too. Like if you want to have some healthy cooking videos or something, I can definitely do something like this. So that's what I added to my life binder so far. I'm definitely going to keep on updating it, but this is what I have for now and I really love it. And what I also want to talk about with you is that I last year started doing it that I took pictures from Pinterest and put them into a video and then right before sleep I was watching that like one minute video or something and it was so 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 helpful like manifesting wise and mindset wise getting those images and those pictures in your head or quotes as well like affirmations everything playing on screen right before you go to bed it just the best. It worked wonders. It was crazy how fast some things manifested. I was like, what the hell is going on? If you want to try a new manifesting technique, maybe try that one out because that's really helpful. But I cannot tell you a success story about the life binder yet. So we have to see what 2024 brings. <laughs> I do have a bit more of a positive energy going into this year now though. I'm rambling again. Thank you so 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 much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already to not miss out on any new uploads. I hope you have a beautiful and blissful day and I'm gonna see you next week. Bye!